Hey everyone, it's Kay. So today I wanted to do an overall review of the FL Sun Cube, uh, the build and the kit. I will be coming out with a video for the um, like the print quality and I wanted to do a time lapse video of the print as well, but I wanted to make them separate videos just so I could include more detail in the review. So keep an eye out for that, you'll see it. Uh, for the overall like kit, I was super impressed. This was my first experience with the Cartesian, my first experience with the FL Sun. So a lot of firsts here. Um, I don't know if you saw my unboxing video, I'll leave a link down in the description, uh, but it was, there was a lot to it. There was a lot that I didn't expect. Uh, for instance, they had like two of these little PLA, uh, I mean, they're larger than, than samples, but two spools like this, so mini spools, I guess you could say. They also included an SD card that was loaded with all the software needed, um, with repertoire, um, with your manuals, with everything that was needed. Also a USB to SD card adapter, which is great. I, I love that because I'm like, I can continue to use this. I don't need it just for the kit. So I feel like it really sets you up for success with 3D printing. Um, it also, the overall build I was pretty impressed with. They included mounts for the board, for the power supply, uh, there was like a case for the board, and then there was also active cooling for the board as well, which I honestly was really impressed with. I've had issues with um, my Castle XL with the board overheating, and I haven't seen a lot of 3D printers that have active cooling for the board. So there's two little fans on there, I'm sure you can't see them. <laughs> um, but there are two little fans on there that actively run and cool the board. So I'm really impressed with that. I know that I'm not gonna have to worry about the board overheating and that's honestly a weight off my mind. I did wanna mention, um, there were, it came with a piece of paper that said that there was a video tutorial. I was not able to find that video tutorial. I looked on YouTube um, and I also looked through the SD card and I wasn't able to find it anywhere, uh, but I didn't need it at all. Uh, the tutorial that it came with was um, in a PDF. It was all photos um, and it was really easy. I mean, there were some, I, I would say there's a little translation issue, but it really was pretty simple to understand, especially with the photos. The photos were really helpful. I think it was honestly, in some cases, better than a video tutorial. I have followed video tutorials in the past, and you kind of have to pause them and go back and pause them and go back. And I think in this case, the photos were a lot better and a lot easier than a video tutorial. Overall, I'd say the build took maybe 15, 16, 17 hours. Um, I think it would be a great weekend project. And I think it would probably be pretty good for beginners. It wasn't necessarily hard to build at all. Um, I think it was pretty good. Now, as far as any problems I'd have, because I have heard some people had some issues. I did have, the only real issue I had, let me say this is the only issue that I really did have. I did have an issue um, with these metal beams, that both of them, that supported the heated bed. I think they're supposed to have three holes, one for each screw hole on the, uh, the plexiglass here. Um, that's at least what it shows in the, the photos. Mine only has two and I had a lot of issues getting the photo, or I'm sorry, getting the holes lined up. Uh, after quite some time playing around with it, I was finally able to get it working, uh, to get the holes lined up, to get it uh, to screw in. Um, so, you know, I was able to get everything corrected. Now, I have heard of some people had issues where some parts came the wrong size or that kind of a thing, but they were able to ultimately get it corrected. And actually, that speaks that speaks a lot to me because with FL Sun as a company, I was kind of concerned at first if I would ever be able to hear back from them just because, um, not, not that I heard anything bad, but just because they're spread across so many different, um, so many different websites, so many different, like, I guess you could say venues, you know, you see them on like AliExpress and Newegg and Amazon. I was like, man, you'll, you're never going to get a hold of them. So I've seen everywhere, like throughout the kit, throughout the SD card, throughout the manual, and then, you know, in just talking to people that anytime there's an issue, you can reach out to them and they'll correct it. And I've heard that it actually has been corrected for a lot of people. So that really instills confidence, even though I didn't necessarily have anything that needed to be corrected. Um, I wanted to talk about the auto probe as well. So I was concerned <laughs> about the auto probe. 
I wanted to try one for sure. I had heard a lot of good and bad things about them. Um, I haven't heard of some that really <laughs> work super well, but when I was putting it together, it was so easy to put it on. I really thought that it wasn't going to work. I thought, oh my gosh, this was so easy to put on. There's no way at all that it's going to work. And then ultimately it worked fine. It absolutely worked fine. I, I, it's amazing to me. <laughs> um, it's like an IR sensor. Essentially, that's what it looks to be. One thing that you really should keep in mind is that you cannot have a glass plate. I thought at first, the first thing I wanted to do was go out and buy some glass or um, some Basilitate uh, and put it right on top of there. But you can't do that because it'll fool the probe. <laughs> so uh, one option you can do, um, you know, if you either don't want to use the auto probe or, you know, if you're having issues with it, there is a manual calibration and there is a manual Z and stop, which I'm really glad that that came with because I always like to have a backup plan. So uh, overall, I have to say really blew me away as a kid. I was really excited. Everything that it came with, I just really feel like all of everything was taken care of. Um, I don't know, I was just so excited. I think it's a great build. It would be a great first printer for someone. I think it really was as easy as you can get it, as as, um, as issue-free as you can get it. Everything was taken care of. You know, you don't have to worry about updating this or going out here trying to find the latest version of this or anything. It was all taken care of for you in one kit. And stress-free <laughs> that's that's as stress-free as 3d printing can get i would say so i thank you guys so much for watching um this is it right here as i'm sure you can see it won't be staying here forever i will have to find a new home for it because this is my main working station but i did want you guys to see it uh, if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down in the comments i will leave a link to the description down or i'm sorry <laughs> i will leave a link to the Amazon listing where I purchased mine in the description. I also left a review there, of course, so feel free to check that out. But if you have any questions, of course, reach out and that about wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.